JJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. We're going to talk about, you know, how to stay motivated while you're over here learning how to code, right? You already know. Listen, the first thing that I will say is think about why you actually doing this, right? Why are you learning how to code? What is it that's actually bringing you to this career? A lot of times, you know, you, you might say, hey, I'm doing this for the money. I'm doing this to do a change. I'm not happy with the, the job that I'm doing. Uh, you know, it could be, you know, anything. It could be working in retail. It could be in that office that you hate. The people that you hate your coworkers and you're like, oh, my God, I need to get out of here. There's something better for me out there. So think about those things. Before you quit about, you know, coding, if you feel like it's too hard, think about it and be like, hey, I got to do this because if I want to reach this goal, if I want to get here in life, like the only way that I'm going to do is through this, right? This is my only means, you know? So right now, just make sure you keep, you know, keep pushing. Don't worry about it. Like at first it seems hard, but trust me, you're going to get through this part, right? Working on a project, right? This is number two right now. Let's say you're working on a project and the project seems so big and you're like, oh my God, how am I going to finish this? And like, there's a lot of things that I don't know yet, but how am I going to build this website? Let's say, for example, you have to create a, a, you know, a website out of a design. What do you have to do? I will say, hey, break things down into parts, man. Don't try to do everything at once. Think about it like, hey, I'm going to do this section by section. So, for example, you're working on a, on a website like this, right? So, you know, this is the menu, right? So what I would do is I will start with the header, start with this, basically with the image. And then from there, after you finish with this image and you put a logo here, then from there, build the, the menu, which is on the top. And then from there, start breaking it down by section, start going section by section until you get everything right on the right areas, you know, the right pixels, the right size of the fonts. Don't give up. Don't think I'm like, oh my God, I got to do this whole page. I got to do this by myself. I don't know how to do it. Don't get overwhelmed, man. Like all of this stuff is super easy. All you have to do is just break it down by sections and pretty much say, hey, this is the top image. This is the logo. This is the menu. And then from there, start breaking it down section by section. You say, okay, there's one section. There's another section. There's a full section. There's one section here. There's another section here. There's one section, another section. And then like that, you know, this footer is a full section. And then from there you say, okay, I have this two or well, three icons here. And then I have like a, a footer logo, right? So it's pretty simple, man. All you have to do is make sure you, you know, break things down. Don't feel, don't feel like you're overwhelmed and you're like, oh my God, am I ready to create this? You know, whenever you feel like that, take a break which is number three right make sure you take a break sometimes you feel like you might get stuck let's say an example you're trying to build something in javascript and you keep getting errors the best thing to do is relax take a break don't get agitated and just chill you got to think about it like this like you're going at one point you're gonna find the answer like it or not you're gonna find the answer so this is something that you just have to keep pushing forward, but just take a break. Be like, okay, I'm going to come back to it in a little while. Clear my mind, you know, <laughs> if you smoke a cigarette, go smoke a cigarette. If you if you need to go get a snack, go get a snack. When you come back, your brain is going to be clear, and then you can actually continue studying or continue building the project that you're working on. Number four, try to learn on a schedule, right? So let's say you work from nine to five, right? You say, hey, I gotta be at work by nine o'clock. What if I wake up every day at 6.30 and I do half an hour in the morning of just code? Just wake up, brush your teeth, you know, and just listen to a podcast or something and just code for a little while. Code for 20 minutes, right? Before you go to work, just to get your, your day going because that's the best thing about, you know, learning how to program, that it never stops. Like, once you start, it never stops in your head. Like, you constantly think, oh, what can I build? What can I do? Oh, how can I make this loops? How can I make this this page? It's throughout the whole day, it's going to be in your mind. So if you do 20 minutes in the morning, 
then you're gonna be golden. Then from there, let's say an example, you come home at five o'clock, it takes you, well, 5.30, 5.45. Let's say you need to get home, you need to cook something, you need to uh, eat a little something. Then you have until maybe at 7.30, you say, okay, I'm gonna start coding from 7.30 till nine o'clock, right? Now that's an hour and a half that you got, right? But try to keep that as a habit. Try to keep that in the sense of always coming back to it. Meaning you will do this at least three, four times a week. Keep that as a habit. Keep it in a way where you could always come back to it and say, hey, it's 730, man. I got a code for a little bit. I got this idea that I have in my head and I want to build something tonight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you could go out, you could go out for drinks, you could do this and that, but keep things on the schedule. So you say, hey, if I got to hang out with my boys and my friends on Friday nights, well, this is what I'm going to do. Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, those are my coding days. Those days is for me to code. The rest of the, the week, hey, let's party on. You dig? <laughs> Number five, the last step to keep yourself motivated, man, while you're learning to code. It's very simple, man. Whenever you feel like, oh my God, this is so hard. I can't get this. You have to understand is there's people who actually have done this before. It's not like you, you're going to Mars. It's not like you're the first person that's going to Mars. You got to think about this. Thousands, if not millions of people have gone through this problem before the same one that you're going through and then think about it like if they could do it i could do it like we both human beings we both have a brain there's nothing that's you know better than you know him he's not better than me it's that simple like there's no way that you could think like that you know you don't think in your head like oh my god i suck at math i suck at this how can i i get to learn how to code maybe i need to be a math genius no you don't need math you don't need to be a genius to do this. This is more about dedication. Think about it like this. Listen, think about Michael Jordan, right? Michael Jordan was constantly shooting free throws. Free throws, free throw, free throws. When he was young, when he was a, a little kid, you know, he would always play, you know, basketball in his backyard, always play basketball with his friends. Like, the reason why he became number one is not because he was, like, the most amazing athlete in the world. It's just about actually you know putting in that work practice makes perfect you you got to think about that you don't have to be a, a genius you don't have to be a prodigy all you have to do is pretty much be determined to become something and say hey i'm gonna become a web developer hey i'm gonna become a software engineer hey i'm gonna become a ios engineer whatever you want to become just pretty much just push yourself to the next level man and just keep going don't let nothing stop you and don't put any blocks on your head when you're blocking yourself, you know? Think about it like that. If somebody else did it, why you can't do it? All right, guys. I hope you guys actually liked that video, man. And make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video. And please share it. If you guys can share it just on Facebook, give it a Facebook like or something. Come on, guys. Like, I actually take my time to, you know, do these videos for you guys and that's my only payment that I get, you know, when I get a comment from you guys, you know. And if you guys decide to uh, buy any of the courses from uh, Udemy, make sure you click on the description below. Those are actually the courses where I learn how to become a web developer. So the reason why I'm promoting those courses is because, hey, I don't have the time to actually create uh, courses for you guys constantly. But at least I could tell you, hey, this is what I did to learn. You know what I mean? So make sure you subscribe and, you know, when you get a chance, check out the links below on the description. And you already know. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Bye.